The market shift is on. Let's get into it. Hey guys, how you doing? Derek here from Simply Home Real Estate. I'm the qualifying broker for the state of Michigan. We got an all-star team of agents, so whether you're looking to buy, sell, invest, rent, whatever you need, we've got you covered all over the state at this point. We even do property management now. So if you're paying any attention to the real estate you know, market or news out in the media, um, you'll know that interest rates have started to drop. They just started dropping about two weeks ago. They haven't slowed down. Uh, this is kind of the boost to the market that it looks like a lot of buyers were looking for. We'll get into that in a second, but just want to give you like my thoughts and my predictions moving forward of what that's going to look like. So usually when I make these videos, I back it up with hard data. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that for this video simply because we don't have it yet because you know that's like the the, the lagging indicator of what's going on in the market. I can only go off what I'm seeing on the ground right now and just kind of relay that to you guys because it's pretty significant, I think, and I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a good thing for buyers and sellers, which usually isn't the case. It's usually good for one or the other, but I think it's good for everybody, and I'm going to explain why. So this is goes going back, like I said, about two weeks. It was uh, two, uh, two two weeks ago, Friday, I believe the uh jobs report came out where the uh the unemployment rate had ticked up like a tenth of a percent something like that and jobs we only added like 118,000 jobs or something like that so uh it was a little bit less of a robust you know jobs increase than analysts were expecting i don't know apparently that was enough to trigger a decrease in mortgage rates because that's kind of what everybody's been waiting for is for the economy to slow down a little bit and apparently that was enough of a sign for that to happen so here we are uh the good news is uh it's going to become a lot more affordable for you to buy a house if you're in the market to buy and uh so one of the uh things like immediately after that happened i was talking to one of my contacts at united wholesale mortgage you know they're the number one uh, lending company in in the United States and you know for for like the longest time we're talking like years they've been averaging roughly about 3,000 new mortgage applications a day and that's just been like par for the course for the longest time so as soon as rates dropped they went up to 4,500 mortgage applications a day now that's nationwide that's not just Michigan or not just our market but that in, that's an indication that a lot of people we're simply waiting for rates to go down a little bit before they entered the buyer pool. And that's, you know, if, if we were a couple of years ago dealing with the inventory levels we had then, I would be probably making this video with a, with my hair on fire saying we're about to have a, a big problem uh, because we don't have the inventory to accommodate all these new buyers. Well, luckily we're not quite in that same situation now. I mean, inventory levels aren't where they would be historically for this time of year but we're looking a whole lot better than we have in years. So I'm literally like three or four years. Uh, we were scraping the bottom of the barrel. We just didn't have enough houses to go around for people, which was it was kind of a double-edged sword. It was awesome for people that, that were selling their home that didn't have to buy anything because you, know, you could get sky-high prices and then you didn't have to worry about finding a new house to buy. But that was keeping a lot of people on the sidelines that did have to find a new house to buy. And now we've got like a decent amount of inventory. So in Ferndale, uh, we're roughly about 60 active listings uh, out of you know 10,000 housing units in the city. It's not you know not where we normally would be in the middle of summer. We'd be closer to about 100 to 120 listings. We can take we'll deal with with 60. That's 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 enough to work with. Uh, like Royal Oaks out over almost to 200 active listings right now. So that, that amount of inventory, it, I mean, it probably doesn't sound like a ton, but it's, it's enough to where if you wanna put your house on the market and sell it, you're gonna be able to find something that you like uh, when you go to, go to buy. So uh, the fact that we've got more buyers entering the market or at least thinking about it, uh, we've actually got the inventory to accommodate you at this point and it's gonna become more affordable for uh, you know, for you to, to purchase that home, your monthly payment is going to be less now that rates are a little bit lower than they than they were for like the past. They've been pretty stagnant for the last several months, 
And uh, this is ahead of the Fed doing their rate cut, which everybody thinks is coming in September. Um, maybe we'll see something in August. I probably wouldn't bet money on it, but I think by September we're probably going to see an actual uh, another rate cut by the Feds, which should uh, mean that mortgage rates go down a little bit too. Um, mortgage rates typically price in ahead of the Fed making a decision, but you know, I wouldn't ex I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked to see another little drop in the rates as well once that happens. And I wanted to make this video because I think it's important to 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 let you guys know that if you're considering, uh, you know, getting pre-approved, looking for a home right now might want to do it sooner rather than later because another byproduct of lower rates is almost always going to be higher prices so even though the 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 interest rates have gone down on your mortgage you know this hasn't happened yet we haven't seen this big jump in prices and we probably won't for you know it's going to be i wouldn't be surprised if it takes a month month and a half before we really start seeing the effects of that but it's important to know that that's probably coming so if you're thinking about making that move might be a, a wise time to do so now, get that house under contract before prices start going up, and then way, that way you get the best of both worlds. And again, if you're, if you're you know looking to sell your home and we're a little bit worried that maybe you won't be able to find a place to, to move to if, once your house is sold, I don't think that's as much of a, of a worry anymore. It's, it really shouldn't be at all. This is kind of going back to like, the olden days of you know five or six years ago where that's just what you did you know you uh you, you sold your house you got it under contract you you went out and bought another one we're kind of getting back there now it's not as, as uh incumbent upon you to have that new house under contract and have that ready to go and then and then list your 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 current home i think we can go back to to maybe doing things the old either way should be fine at this point but I just wanted to jump in this is gonna be a shorter video I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on as soon as I actually have stats to kind of back this up I'll obviously make another video about it reference this one um, but that's kind of where we're at in the market right now I'm I'm pretty encouraged I think we're gonna have a really strong second half of the year um, yeah things are all the fundamentals are are lining up exactly the way we want it. Rates are going down, inventory is going up, there's not as much pressure for buyers or sellers. Homes are still appreciating and uh, you know, but it's but it's more affordable to to enter the the market now or, or that that monthly payment's not going to be quite as expensive as it was. And I, just so you know, I mean again, I not don't have a crystal ball. I am certainly not an expert analyst in mortgage rate fluctuations and all that good stuff, but I certainly don't anticipate this being the end of rate drops. I think we're just beginning to see that. So um, that being said, you know it could take a couple of years to get back down into the fives. Who knows how long that's going to take? I think the the Fed's going to be very gradual about dropping rates down where they were really aggressive about raising them to combat inflation. So they don't want to cause inflation to spike again by lowering rates too fast, too soon, and then having to re-raise. Nobody wants that. So they're going to be very cautious about it, I think. Uh, so uh, that being said, if you find the house that you like, if it's the right time for you to, to, to make that purchase, just do it and just know that whatever your monthly payment is now is probably the, the most you're ever going to pay on a monthly basis for that house. Because once rates drop enough, you can refinance, lower your payment, and have and free up that money every month to spend on other things, to save, uh, whatever you know, whatever you want to do with it. But uh, it won't be going into your house payment anymore, which is the most important thing. So, uh, the only other thing I wanted to touch base on real quick is just to remind everybody that the 17th of August is when these new uh, real estate rules kick in, and we're already kind of dealing with them. Our MLS already made the shift uh, a little bit, but really the only thing that's going to change is anytime you want to go see a house we're going to have to have some kind of an agreement in writing with you before we can open the door and that's not just us that is any agent that you talk to so um and it's you know we're not locking you into anything our our, our agreement I'll, I'll probably make another video about it next week or, or maybe later this week basically just says you know if you decide to write an offer on this particular house that i'm showing you today here's what our commission is sometimes you know in the in Commissions have always been negotiable, um, but for the most part, sellers have almost always paid the you know both sides of the commission. 
I don't expect that to change too much. Um, I think maybe at the beginning there's going to be some, you know, workarounds or whatever. But, you know, uh, long story short, I don't expect that to commission to really have to come out of your pocket. I mean, could happen. We don't know. We'll address that when we, when we come to it. But just know that we do have contingency plans in place so that you're not just forking over money for an agent as a buyer. So, um, but that being said, we'll discuss that a little bit more in depth down the road. But if you do have any questions about it, just reach out 586-491-5622. And uh, you can always reach me by email. New email is sim- De- Derek Warenka at simplyhome.com. Uh, old email still uh, active as well, dwarenka at m1realty.net. And until next week, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm really excited about the way the market fundamentals are shaping up for the second half of the year. Doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to go the way I think they will, but I'm usually not wrong about this kind of thing. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. We'll talk soon. And uh, have a great week.